ordinary season and hence the green vestments and green cloths on the altar. Uh, this is anything but ordinary time, so uh, it's actually extraordinary times. But it's the time between Christmas, uh, baptism of Jesus, and then our Lenten season, which will begin in a little over a month. And I'll talk about that ordinary times this morning in my homily. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all this morning. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and in so doing, prepare ourselves to receive the sacred Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God, God and to my brothers and sisters that I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Fault, fault, fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. 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 sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe. Who is the reflu refugent of his glory, the very imprint of his being? and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he had inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, the day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be the father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. Let all his angels worship him. Let all of his angels worship him. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Let all of his angels worship him. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Let all his angels worship him. Let all, all his, his angels worship him. Because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. Let all, all his, his angels worship him. Lord, 
After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them, so they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Our Gospel reading for today from Mark is actually the beginning period of Jesus' public ministry. Immediately following his baptism by John at the River of Jordan, things began to change. John was pursued by the Romans for his preaching of a new ruler, not just to come, but one who had arrived. They just had to recognize him. It was frightening for some and threatening for others that there was a Messiah in their midst, but it was also a time for great hope. The Messiah that had been spoken of in the Old Testament over the centuries was now there, and it was important to recognize him however they could. Mark's Gospel today tells us how Jesus selects his first disciples as they were mending their fishing nets and ready to set sail for another day out on the lake fishing. For the men in the boat, they were making plans, preparations. They were all busy. And then Jesus stops along the shore and says to the fishermen, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of humankind. Mark writes, they left their nets and followed him. Could it be that Simon, Andrew, James, and John already knew Jesus, or at least maybe they knew of him? They may have heard him preaching, or maybe they heard from others what this man from Nazareth had been doing, healing the sick and the lame, preaching compassion and mercy to all, and welcoming ordinary people, struggling people, hardworking people into his life and offering them the grace of God and everlasting life in God's kingdom. Were they surprised to be called by Jesus or were they overjoyed that he actually stopped by their boats and said, follow me. I have chosen you to do God's will here on earth. Whether they were surprised or overjoyed, or both, there was a gift offered and a gift received that day. The gift of Jesus recognizing those who were receptive to the call, and then the gift of those who received the call and left their livelihood behind. A bold demonstration of faith in action. In Hebrews, we heard this morning that God seeks all followers as vital to his mission to bring the word of Christ to all. No one is more important than another, not even the angels. Christ calls, the angels serve as messengers, and humans hear the call just as the fishermen heard the call that day, so do we throughout our lives. We hear that call and we in turn become messengers as well. As we enter this ordinary time of the church year, it means the time between Christmas 
in our Lenten preparation for Easter, it will be anything but ordinary. As we hear the call of Christ to our families, our neighbors, and those in need of support, Jesus helps us to hear and to answer our call. And that is really our prayer for today that when we do pray, you will hear us throughout this new year. So let us ever be ready to serve them by those we serve. Please join with me for the prayers of the faithful. Watch over Pope Francis as he works to mend fences, repair nets, keep the flock of Christ focused on our spiritual gifts of compassion and kindness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Watch over those in our government that they set a course of doing the right thing for all through courage and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Watch over our emergency responders, our nurses and doctors that they are restored in strength and desire to help others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, Lord. hear our prayer. Watch over our parish community of faith, that we support one another through acts of encouragement and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. Watch over our families and our friends and for the stranger to me and for all those who have died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. May God guide us along the path of everlasting life through Jesus, our Savior and friend. Amen. As we prepare for communion this morning, let us say the words that our Savior shared with us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Holy your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy of you shall enter my room, room. but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
us the strength and courage and patience and wisdom to do your will. And more importantly this week, let us listen, listen to your call, and then let us respond by serving others. Grant the Lord, we pray, that we might be light for all eternity in the sharing in your divine light, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of his precious body and blood, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ, serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. And have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you.